client already has all the the clean shots, the, the wide shots, all for the website and things like that. So what I'm focusing on is detail for Instagram. So I want to show sort of evidence of people in the space. Uh, they may want to use, so predominantly I'm going to shoot a lot of portrait. They may want to use some of it for the website, so I'm going to look at these beautiful orange sofas. I'm going to get a bit of that color in there. And if I shoot, you probably can't see that on the screen because it's reflecting, I'd imagine, but I can get a huge amount of depth in this. Here we go. So there's my camera bag, switch to 35. And I'll show you what I mean about those door frames. So this is the uh, 35 1.4, shooting at 2.8 at the moment. And this is a this is my favourite lens by by far. But this is what I mean about the door frames. Like for example, if, if I'm back here and I'll just take a shot from eye level down like this, and you'll see all the vertical lines are wrong. So all we need to do is get low. Check in the viewfinder, but here, yeah, from about here. And you, you straighten your vertical lines by tilting up and down and finding the right height. But if I'm all the way up here at eye level, you'll see, I chuck that one on the screen. I wouldn't use that, that's, that's wrong, that one. So again, I'm gonna go from here. Let's just get in detail. So let's move on, let's go into the bathroom. So look at this, this is a stunning uh, bathroom. The bath looks like a giant bowl, looks amazing. So this is the angle we're gonna go from, from the doorway. Now one thing I can see straight away that's gonna be a bit of a problem is my reflection over there. Um, I can probably hide, uh, so we'll start off with that, but what I'll probably do actually is, uh, I can just, I can just try opening the door and then you can see that gets rid of the reflection and it get, lets us sort of understand that that door can be opened. So what I'm looking to do here, I wanna try and get the range of space in the room. Again, I'm shooting from my, so I wanna try and get the range of space, you know, just show how big it is. I'm shooting at 2.8, I still wanna try and get depth in it, but I'm going to select different focal points just to make sure that that comes across. Um, now spaces like this are often tricky, but again, understanding what your focal point is, getting the door frame in for depth, come a little bit further back. So understanding what your, you know, your subject is, even though it's a whole room, which bit of the room are we looking at, especially when I'm shooting at 2.8 to get these door frames. But again, this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shoot down, and this isn't always a bad thing to do. If I shoot downwards, I'll get the door frame in on purpose. But you know, I put that on the screen, you can see the vertical lines are all off. Whereas if I shoot from here, you can see they're nice. Okay, we're gonna get closer in on here. I, I've left, um, my fiance's uh, makeup bag in here on purpose. Let's find sinks are challenging, but if we come all the way back, we should be able to get some nice detail shot. Now I can see the problem here is they're not gonna be able to fit that on Instagram. So I wanna try and get as far back as I can. Apologies, you'll probably go off, um, you'll probably go off the camera now, but I'm just, I just wanna get a shot. Make sure I got that. Yeah, this looks, this looks nice. The, you know, this real minimal kind of colors or lack of, but you know, those, oh, we're not quite there. Get nice and low. You know, if I need to, I can expand that out. And actually, if we get low here, we won't get into the, uh, into the mirror, but again, we're going to struggle to fit that on Instagram. Let's 
Now the shower area. <clears throat> it's tricky this because it's so minimal that it's hard to actually get context. I think we're going to have to go all the way back here. We already got this shot, I think, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. And let's get some, some landscapes as well. I love the 35 1.4 for our interiors. Hmm. Can't really find it here. I think I probably need a little bit of a wider lens. I'll come back to this in a sec. Typically, I don't really take pictures of toilets, even though it's, it looks fine. People tend to not get too excited about toilets. Um, <clears throat> maybe I just want to cover this a little bit more, just get some safe shots. Okay, these are nice. Let's get a little bit of detail on this plant here. Glasses are here, so I'm gonna actually put those out. Just adds a little bit of something interesting. I wanna bring a little further back. And maybe what is another nice idea is to get to get this, but you know, show it in the context of the rest of the space. At this point, the light becomes a little bit of an issue because it's super bright in the other room. Okay, so we're going to start to look at a few different um, shots in the space. You know, like a classic one here, you can see uh, the like our shoes and welly boots and stuff like that. So. I'm going to get that in a few different ways. I'm going to get this on the 50. Um, there's too much light coming across there. I just want to isolate it a bit more. Okay, actually, before we do, before we do, I just want to get this one here. I could get a bit of this table here in as well, I reckon. Nope. Now, this is a case, you know, I'm trying to keep the lines straight, but this is a case where actually I think we want to be... Um, You know, this is not perfect geometry, but it's just interesting. This wants to be, I can tell. See the difference there? I'll put this on the screen. Uh, those lines there compared to, I'm also getting a bit of depth from this lily on the table. You know, it just looks so much more pleasing to the eye when you've got straight vertical lines. And now you can see I'm using this in the foreground. This is why I use fast primes. I think, to be honest, if I had the, um, if I had the 16 to 35 2.8, um, that would be ideal because I'm shooting 35 2.8, and then I, I have 16 to 35 f4, but it just doesn't quite do this. So I think I'm going to carry on a little bit later when the sun's died down. So I'll leave the uh, POV for now. So thanks loads for watching. I hope you found it useful. It was quite, you know, interesting for me to do a POV video. I'll put a link in the description for this place. Uh, it's beautiful, it's stunning, it's not sponsored. Uh, I'm just working here. Uh, so I'll, like I said, leave a link in the description. The presets I used, I'll leave a link for those as well. But as I said, thanks for coming and I will see you in the next video.